You guys also, you know, you've brought so much joy to the world, but you're also amazing writers. And we have so many um, writers out there in our audience and us. This is really our selfish time. We want to ask you for a writing tip. So is there any advice that you would give someone who is um, looking into, you know, breaking into what you guys have done? Darren, do you want to start us off? Well, if you want to be like me, don't write fiction because... <laughs> What were the exact words? This is so bad. I'm so disappointed. This is so bad. Um, <laughs> I mean, did that but, just crush you, though? You know, you know, I know. Oh, I was sure. I was going to write this one book, and I was going to be, you know, Mary Kay. I was going to be at the beat, yeah. turning them out because people would love them. Fair enough. <laughs> um, so I guess what I'm good at is writing essays and writing columns. And if that's what and I'm terrible at in, that. So okay, mm -hmm. no, you're not. Um, you are not. I, I, I have to disagree with that. I would just say, um, write what you feel, write what you are the most scared of telling somebody. Yep. And when it's really a big mess that looks like throw up on the paper or the screen, um, go smaller. That's my one thing. Oh, I go like, okay, I'm trying to say too much. So look for the smallest thing in that big mess of your writing. And that's probably the nugget that you can actually write about. That's really good. Codency. I, I'm not good at writing um, fiction either. That's not really yeah. fic fiction's not my forte. That's the name of my my book. Uh, that's Your next what it book. Be. Fiction's Your next, book. next one. I I like to write about real life, and I'm probably more of a quippy writer. Um, and and to be honest, I had to. I worked alongside somebody for my book. I would send them sample chapters because I. And that's the thing. Be honest about your about your writing experience and what you've done and what you haven't. I yes. I've 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 written news forever and news is like writing for the ADHD generation. You know, get it all in in sixty seconds. So writing a book um, is and the narrative and the arc is so much different. So, um, you know, write to your strengths and also write your write write your passions. You know, I'm I I never wanted to write a book. You guys, I have my friends that have written books have said it's like the worst experience in the world because it's like, it's like, this is, this is my analogy. It's like birthing a child. And then this, this child you feel extraordinarily um, close with, let's say something happened during the pregnancy and you just have this extraordinary connection. And then you hand this, the child over to strangers and the yeah. strangers can judge your child. And so that's what yeah. it's, it's like, right. It's something that you've literally poured yourself into and then you just hand it over to somebody else to judge. And that's that was really hard for me, but write to your strengths and write to your passions. I'm writing a kid's book that I'm super passionate Aww. about. And I'm writing, a, a hopefully writing a book. Um, I'm meeting with publishers um, the next couple of weeks, writing a book for working moms. So um, write, write to your passions. 